In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to connect your Namecheap domain to Squarespace. Now, it's actually very simple to do, so let's get right into it. First of all, you need to obviously go onto Namecheap and purchase yourself a domain. And if you haven't already done that, you can go to the link in the description. And we have a discount code there, which gets you some insane deals and discounts on Namecheap. So go ahead and use that, and it also helps the channel. So, once we've gone ahead and actually purchased ourselves a domain, we have to go into our Namecheap dashboard and it will look a little bit like this. From here, what we want to go ahead and do is select the domain we've just created. So I'm going to use this one, for example, and I'd recommend just copying it to your clipboard so that you can easily paste it into the Squarespace. So next, we're going to go over to Squarespace and we're going to go and log in. So once we've logged in, we need to go ahead and select the site that we want to actually put the domain on. So I've got this site here. And from here, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go down to the bottom left hand corner. And you see there's a thing here that says settings. So I'm going to click on the settings tab here. Then I'm going to go up to where it says domains and email. From there, I'm going to go over to domains. And then I'm going to click on the use a domain I own button. Now this is where we're going to go ahead and paste in the domain that we've just purchased. So I'm just going to paste it in here, just like that. And I'm going to click the next button. Now it's going to take a second to load and it tells you that the domain was registered with Namecheap on the date and it's going to tell you, do you want to transfer or connect it? So I'm going to try the connect option. So from here we have two options. We can either automatically get them to connect it or we can use DNS records to go ahead and do it. So I'll show you both ways, but first of all, I'll show you the one where you let them do it. So you click get started here. And basically we have to go to the Namecheap signing page. We have to sign into the associated account and then we have to click next when we're done. So I've already done all that and I'm just gonna click next. And now we're gonna go ahead and have to update our name servers. So the way we do this is we go back into our dashboard. We need to go to domain list. We need to go over to the domain we're doing it for, go to the little drop down here, go to manage. And then here we should see this thing that says name servers. So in here, we're going to have to go ahead and change this from name cheap basic down to custom. And in here, we might have some already. We'll have to delete those and we have to put the new ones in here. So I'm going to go ahead onto Squarespace. I'm going to copy this one here. I'm going to paste it in here and I'm going to copy the second one and also paste it in. Once we've done, the, done with that, we need to go ahead and press the check mark here. It should take a second to load. And now we can go ahead and click the finish button. And you can, it says your domain connection is in progress and it can take up to 24 hours for this to finish basically. We'll send you email updates about it. So that's the first way that you can go ahead and do it. And this usually works for most people. So the second way we can go about doing this is by using the DNS records, as I said. We can click on the no use DNS records button. It's gonna ask for our provider. So we're gonna put Namecheap. And now it says connection in progress. So basically what we have to do is we have to put these records into our DNS settings on Namecheap. So it's quite easy to do. We need to go ahead back onto Namecheap. I believe we go to the advanced DNS settings. And in fact, first for this to work, we have to make sure the name servers are back on the Namecheap basic DNS settings. We have to do that to make sure it works. What we're going to do after that is we're going to go to the advanced DNS settings and then in here we're going to basically add records for each of the ones they recommend. So we're going to start off with this as the host, this is the type, this is the required data. So I'd put this, I'd copy that, I'd go over here and I'd put add, I think it was a C name, host is that, target is this, and we leave the TTL as automatic and we'd put the tick icon there. Basically, we'd go ahead and we'd add all of these records. So we'd do WW, but for the value, we'd also we'd do this one here. We'd do automatic, but tick. And basically, we'd add a new record for each of these. So then we'd do at, and the type would be A. This is the data. And we just need to put every single one of these records in. Now, once we've gone ahead and done that, we just need to put the refresh records or view site. And it basically should, I think the refresh records one here, it's going to basically see if you've actually added those records to your site. 
And if you haven't, then it will say record not found. But once you've added it, it should say record found. Now, keep in mind, this can take a little while for it to update, so it might not be instant. Once it's done, you can go ahead and click view website and it should be ready to go. That's basically how you go about doing it. So if you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below that it helped. And also, if you want to grab yourself some cheap hosting from Namecheap, click the link in the description to get some insane discounts and help out the channel. Thank you for watching.